You might, you might remember three years ago I did a video on Benson's Wild Animal Park. It's actually my favorite video I've ever done. Uh, but they've since built a museum here. The museum is open. They have a nice little museum. I mean, it's still in the works, a little small right now, but uh, you know, one step at a time. Um, I was speaking with Dana in there. He's part of the volunteer team and uh, really nice. Gave me a lot of good information. And I pick up this book, which I didn't even know existed. This is part of the Images of America book series, which is a very big favorite of mine. But this one's specifically on Benson's Wild Animal Farm, so I had to pick that up. What's so great about Benson's is I feel like, I mean, most, most of you already know, but this was part of that trolley park system, which I know I've talked about in my videos before, where there was a big push when uh, trains first came out for to give people a reason to ride long distances, because back, bef especially before cars, there wasn't really any motivation to, to vacation far away from your home. So they would put these parks, that's how we got Pineland Park, that's how we got Canopy Lake Park. And Benson's Wild Animal Farm was a little bit past that time, but still kind of that era. You know, as you can see, this is the original train station that people would come as far as Boston and they would uh, have these deals going where if you bought a um, ticket up to Hudson from Boston, you'd get a free day pass or I think it was vice versa maybe. But the, uh, the park was opened up in the 20s and lasted until the 80s. So it went through various phases and different names uh, and, and under a couple different ownerships. But overall, it was such a huge part of, you know, New Hampshire and Massachusetts, a lot of children's childhood. They had various different animals. They had circuses, clowns, amusement park rides, all kinds of different stuff, so. I'll never forget, every single week, me and my brothers and sisters, we'd say, Dad, Dad, can we go to Benson's Animal Farm? That's where we want to go to Benson's Animal Farm. We'd heard about Benson's Animal Farm. That was my fucking quest, okay? I mean, at, 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 there was a time when the parking lot here actually held more cars than Disneyland. So that's just to give you a scale of, of what this park was at, at one time. And of course, after the park went defunct, it was abandoned. And this, this was just a big, open, abandoned field. And so later, the uh, friends of the Benson organization came through and kind of revamped it all and made it into a nice park and now they're building a museum but there's a lot of artifacts that are still left over like you can see the remnants of the little cart track obviously the elephant house the train station and then the gorilla house which held colossus the gorilla who was a, a giant gorilla who actually ran for i believe it was governor or congress um, as kind of a pr stunt for the park so here's probably one of the more famous remnants Benson's that you can see at the park, which is the giant lady who lived in a shoe. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. This is what it looked like eh, probably about seven, eight years ago. Uh, paint job will do a place like this a lot of good.